<laughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. We are in Melbourne, Victoria. <laughs> this is our first actual day of our Easter holidays. Yes. Meet Catherine. Hi. <laughs> and this is me, Tarun. <laughs> um, potentially, potentially it's going to rain today. Um, and storm and there are flood warnings for Melbourne Metro <laughs> but we are heading out to Yarra Valley we're going Yarra to Valley. the yeah. chocolate shop so um, we're gonna see how that goes and try to not die of a sugar hangover yes <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how it goes <laughs> before we go too much further I thought I'd show you our Airbnb um, we're staying quite close to the city and it's perfect Airbnb it has everything we need okay so we are on our way to Yarra Valley and Catherine is driving. <laughs> Just some local buildings, old style. Never gets old. everything <laughs> that's the beautiful mountain ranges in the Yara Valley on the way to Yara Valley what a view Beautiful sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A bit of sunlight, some freedom. Perfect morning. Perfect morning. So in Yarra Valley, um, like I was just saying to you, that there's it's a big wine growing region. So there's a lot of wineries where you can go and do tastings and um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and also there's a lot of dairy produced here so uh, there's really nice cheese but not just like dairy uh, also goat's cheese is a big thing here um, i've tasted some of the best goat's cheese in Yarra Valley and of course being a dairy and cheese everything they make chocolate which is where we're heading next we're going to the Yarra Valley chocolate factory um, where they make it on site. You, I think you can even book into your own chocolate making experience if you want. Um, they do have a cafe so you can just get a meal but um, it's a pretty amazing place. It does get super busy there and this is this is the Easter long weekend so we're gonna hedge our bets and hope that it's fine. Um, but just know whatever time of year you go it does get super busy there so if you're wanting to do any of the experiences i think maybe you might want to book in um but yeah we'll be fine today we're just gonna see how it goes <laughs> Everyone's gonna have a walk, right? <laughs> Guess what? We are at the Chocolaterie in the Yarra Valley. In the Yarra Valley. Here we go, preparing for sugar overload. But first, but first we need some breakfast. We haven't had breakfast yet. It is a quarter to ten. We've got some things set up here, I guess, for some Easter events. But check out this valley. Check out that valley. All right, so... <laughs> I guess now we're gonna go and get some brunch. <laughs> yes, it's food time. Food time. <laughs> the 
thing he found. Lip balms. Oh. Chocolate flavored. Lip balms. We've got hand sanitizers. <laughs> chocolate flavored. It's all chocolate flavored. <laughs> Chocolate making kits. Triple chocolate brownie at home. That's kind of cute. Little chocolate making kits. Triple chocolate brownie. Nice. Alright, there's the cafe under the giant cuckoo tree, I'm guessing. The <laughs> color tree. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go and grab some on breakfast. We were actually talking at work the other day about Easter egg hunts and saying um, that. Um, whether or not you had them as a kid. So I actually don't remember doing that many as, as, as a child. I don't know if that's like, maybe it's more more of a thing uh, now than it used to be when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I don't remember doing that many. Uh, I do remember, I, I do remember doing one at my grandparents' place. And I do remember also when I was a kid, um, I was given a, um, an, a an Easter egg. It was by my grandparents. It was actually an, an Easter a duck, like a little baby duck. Um, and I was, I just couldn't deal with it. Like <laughs> I was devastated by the fact that I would have to go and uh, eat this thing because I thought I was killing it. Um, so my poor grandparents, they gave me this duck and um, and yeah and I was just crying and crying uh, and they didn't know what to do they thought they did the right thing and um, you know eventually my mom convinced me that um, you know maybe if she just took the wrapper off really carefully so that um, it won't destroy it so she very very carefully <laughs> unwrapped the foil on this thing and then and then actually like pieced it back together um, to save the duck uh, so eventually I, I had it but um yeah there you go that's my weird my weird Easter story <laughs> you can tell me what he wants it's like yes what have we ordered tell us what is so this we've ordered uh, uh, white chocolate hot chocolate from the chocolate factory and it's come with a lot of apparatus as you can see <laughs> this is to blend the hot chocolate in the milk right so i think i think we tip that in and then you use the, the little this thing to like blend it up This is the good stuff, guys. This is the good stuff. It's all real. Um, we should record and show everyone. It's actually blending, like up the front there. Like, they actually have the chocolate blending the whole time, so it's it's all hot. It's all ready to go. Super fresh, I guess, because it's being made right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Why waste it? Why waste it? Get, get your finger in there. <laughs> And that chocolate floats down again. You can just put the whisk back in and, and you know mix it all back in again. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice if you do that. Good. <laughs> nice. Okay, breakfast is here. Check it out. This is chocolate waffles with Nutella. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've gone the more traditional route with uh, poached eggs on sourdough with bacon and as you come on the side it's nice. Uh, so we are going to thoroughly enjoy this. Go and try some till tomorrow. <laughs> Try 
gonna be a little bit first. chocolate bars but they're mini so that you can actually get four different flavors in a pack sounds quite nice right so i'm gonna get this as a gift because mother's day is coming up mum this is a spoiler alert this is what you're getting <laughs> i hope you love it 